We are here today for the fourth annual Dan's Taste of Summer. It encompasses two amazing foodie events, the foodie events of the Hamptons. And here I am at Dan's Taste of Two Forks with Mick Loeb from the amazing Onion Crunch. May I say the scrumptious Onion Crunch? Where do you put them? On your hot dog and? We put it on everything. Hamburgers, salads, soups. I mean, you can eat it out of the bottle. Amazing. How'd you come up with that? Actually, I found the product when I was a kid living in Scandinavia. In Scandinavia? Yeah, it was a topping and all that. Any hot fish in it? <laughs> Smoked? Not really. It was really a topping for hot dogs. Hot dogs are the big sausages are a big thing in Scandinavia. Oh, yeah? I yeah. thought that was in Germany. Scandinavia, too. I might have to go visit. Right, you know, Denmark's right on the border of Germany. Ah. And so what happened? You, like, woke up in the middle of the night one day. I want to hear it. No, I was bringing the product back. I used to live there when I was a kid. And all my friends love fried onions. And they said, how come we don't have fried onions in America? No fried onions in America? Not, not like this. Ooh. Not like this. And Ooh. it was amazing. So I decided to start the company. And I see you're holding something interesting in your hand. What's we, that? We've launched our newest product called Pickle Crunch, which are batter crunchy fried pickles. Stop it. And we just launched this in Walmart and Wallbaum's up here in A&P and Stop and Shop. Say that again. What are they? Battered fried crunchy pickles. You know, this is a family channel. You can't, you can't talk dirty on this channel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I smell that? Oh, absolutely. And you know we're going to be launching fried green tomatoes. No! Yeah. I love fried green tomatoes. Oh, you might you might be my new hero. I know. I know. Ooh, it smells like pickles. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, this is the first time People, you hear it here first. Okay, fried green tomatoes, fried pickles, and fried onions. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What's the most exotic food you ever ate? Not your pickles. Oh, uh, pig's heart. A pig's heart? Uh -huh. Oh, that's exotic, all right. How was that prepared? Was, I was a kid. I don't really remember, uh, but I think it was just um, probably fried with some sauce on it, and they didn't really tell us what it was. It was a camp. They didn't tell it what it was till after we ate it. What kind of a camp was that? I want to make sure my children don't go. Oh, this was in Denmark. It was a Danish camp. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what do you think of Long Island wines, and why do you love them? Oh, well, listen, Long Island is amazing because it's so close to New York. Aha. Uh -huh. And which ones do you love? Oh God, I don't, you know, I don't know them so well, so I don't. The rosés, the whites, they're fantastic. Well, I'm a big rosé drinker myself, especially during the summer. What dish for you epitomizes summer? What dish? Oh God, well, it's the summertime. It's hamburgers and hot dogs. Okay. It's absolutely, it's an amazing Fabulous. And that's perfect for all that stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so Nick Lowe, bye-bye.